A few years ago I was out looking for fossil crabs on the beach as when I was just starting out really with fossil hunting so I was mainly interested in crabs and as I turned over one of the rocks there was something quite interesting underneath it. Hi everyone, I'm heading down to the beach today. Apparently it's really low sand levels and a whole bunch of concretions are exposed, new ones. Let's go see what we can find. There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> that carapace is in perfect condition. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. That is just amazing. It's a shame the claws are gone. That's still a really cool fossil. I might try and see if I can get it back. It's quite large, but it's worth it. It's a very cool fossil. It's a shame I can't find the other side to it, the lid. So I just dug this little concretion out. I thought it was a crab, but I actually can't make sense of it. It's really, really strange looking. It looks to be bone-like structures going through it, but they seem to be hollow. Let me have a closer look at it. to send some photos to the museum for this one. That looks like a wing element there. Very cool. So this is the wrap up for this concretion full of bird bones. Things have moved rather quickly with it. I'm on my way now to the museum with it. They're gonna probably prep it and expose some more of the bones. They're really interested in it because it will be the first flying bird from that location. <laughs> so that's very exciting. Uh, you can see there's the bones are definitely hollow. There's all sorts of interesting things in here, including two big ones sticking out there on the side. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what's inside this concretion, what type of bird. They're thinking it might be a petrel or shearwater. I'll pop up some pictures of it on here. Yeah, that's very exciting. I'm here at Al's house and he's been working on this concretion for the museum. So much you can see here. See the wishbone over here. It's looking amazing. There's so much more bone in here than I thought. This is a really amazing find. This is the first flying bird from that area and so it's half the concretion, only those concretions are around uh, spheres and this was half of it. Unfortunately it didn't have the skull in it so I really wanted the skull in there and the people from the museum, the team there at Canterbury Museum uh, thought that the skull would tell us a lot more about what kind of bird it was. There were a lot of bones in there and a few of them could be diagnostic but what I really wanted was the skull. Uh, so of course I went back looking at that area and up and down the beach, that beach is huge, There's a, it's quite a few kilometers uh, long in either direction. I kept looking for it, kept looking for it weekend after weekend, didn't find it unfortunately. Oh my goodness, I think I found something amazing, <laughs> have a look here. Those are bird bones. <laughs> Look at that. That might even be part of the skull. This is 100% bird bones. You can see there's the end of the joint over there. I can't believe I just found this. This is such an important find. Just look at this. There are so many bones in here. This is very close to where I found the other bird bones. 
I don't know if it's from the same concretion. I think the other one was bigger. But this is just mind blowing. <laughs> I think this is the other half of the bird concretion I found about six months ago. I can't believe I just found this. Have a look at all the rocks here. And I managed to find the other half of this. That is insane. I really can't believe I found the other half of my bird concretion. This is nine months after I found the one half and it must just have washed out because look how close to the water line it is. I'm not even looking at anything else. This has made my day. This has made my, my month, my year. <laughs> this is an amazing find. This could well be a new species. I'm gonna pack it up super, super secure. That's the story of how I find my first flying bird and potentially a new species. It's an unknown species, uh, at least at this point. It takes quite a few years to get these written up. Uh, someone needs to make it their project and then you write it up in a scientific journal where it gets peer reviewed and then eventually published. So that was about two years ago. So maybe in another uh, two or three years, we'll have a new species that we found and named. My patrons might recognize this video from about a year ago when I shared it there. Uh, so if you're into some extra content, go have a look at my Patreon channel. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.